and welcome to this glorious Let's Play of Stranglehold. I am your host, Jin Fury, and with me I have Mr. Botato. Say hello. Hey. Welcome to Chicago. And uh, do me a favor and try to guess the nationality of the gentlemen who are about to burst through this completely inconspicuous door. Look at that guy! Look at him! Also, in case you didn't know, we're in Hong Kong. Sweet earring, dude. Mm. <laughs> Highly reflective blood. Ultra reflective. Yeah. Also, fuck handles. Just Get kick the door down. Get the other one. Also, do me a favor. Try to tell me which one of these two women is younger. By by looks. When you see them. And, uh... Spiral barrel. Of course. So, yeah. John Woo presents Stranglehold. Welcome to the glorious title screen. And yeah, this whole game is essentially a giant Hong Kong styled movie in gameplay form. Gameplay wise, it's alright, but it's extremely repetitive. But what really makes it is the extremely hilarious uh, voice acting and uh, the actual, like, it, 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 it essentially is a is a movie. You, you'll see what I mean. Just listen to this. Just listen. Sends it bloody loads. Curious about your missing cop? Send one man to Kowloon Square. Find the Golden Rabbit. One man. One hour. One man? It's a trap, Captain. I walk in there, my cover's blown. And there'll be two missing cops. Relax, it's a trap. everybody. This guy doesn't give us orders. I'm not sending in one man. I'm sending in a whole SWAT team. No. No, you're not. not. You're not giving orders either, Tequila. We got a missing cop. And only one lead. You stand in the SWAT. The lead dies or disappears. One guy'd be crazy to go in there. You used to be that crazy guy, Jerry. What happened? If I was that missing cop, I hope one of us would want to go. Don't send anywhere, Captain. They just get in my way. Tequila, don't! It's a setup! I hope so. I hate to think they were wasting our time. Tequila, get back here! So, yeah. Apparently, uh, the Hong Kong Police Department is staffed by surfers. Ah, uh, 2007 graphics. Compared this to, like, uh, the new Sleeping Dogs and looks hilarious. And of course we see Tequila's signature weapons, the two silver guns. Welcome yeah, to the just game. Laying out in an alleyway. The force. Where where else would you find guns? I mean really. Yeah. So yeah. The really good thing about this game that I haven't seen in anything else, aside from oh look it's Max Payne, is the fact that if you run over something, you don't just stop, you slide over it. So you don't get stuck on a chair anymore trying to run away from the guy with the rocket launcher. Ah, oh, sweet. So it's like they lubed up your entire character. Kinda. He does an acrobatic move around. And also, if you see something shiny, you shoot it. Stuff will explode, drop, and annihilate pretty much anything that looks at you funny. But yeah, bullet time is essentially the gimmick uh, that's used a lot throughout the game. Anytime you dive forward, or sideways or backwards, whatever. You activate tequila time, not bullet time, tequila time. And, uh, yeah, time slows down. And tells me to find the med pack, and I completely missed the one I just ran by. So, uh, yeah, we're going on without healing. And I am very confused. Where's the med pack? What are you talking about? I, I derped a bit. And, uh, you're. 
guns seem to be uh, like you don't need to reload. They don't have clips or anything. No, no. <laughs> this is a good old game. And also, this is one of my favorite parts of the game. There are whenever you see railings or anything longish that's highlighted, you can write it either up or down. And of course, to get better, uh, to fill up your bar on the bottom left, the circular, the green circle, you have to do stylish kills, which means jump around and shoot people in the face, and uh, that allows you to use tequila powers. Right now, we only have one, the red cross, which lets you heal. And of course, we can take cover if we really want to for some weird reason, but considering how much punishment tequila can take, there, there really isn't much point. So yeah, lots of shiny things. Shoot shiny things. Shiny things fall on bad guy. Blood spurts in about 10 million gallons. And for some reason, these guys are highly suicidal. They, they love standing right next to the propane tanks, always. Also, tequila has Spider-Man boots, because railings are not that easy to run up. Huh. Yeah. So yeah, anytime you have enough tequila meter, you can use your first ability to get a bit of health back. And of course, more guns in the middle of the bloody alleyway. And of course, this tells you this now, even though you could have used it the entire way up until now. Like I did, because I suck at playing, and I need to heal. Paper cranes, that purple flying thing, they give you one bar of the tequilometer. So we can Asian. Yeah, the only <laughs> the only problem is that there's no jump button. You can't jump. You can only lunge in any direction. So if if one of these is up on some ledge, you have to uh, find a way to either get it down or get yourself up there. Even if it's just on a box. Huh. Yeah. It's uh, one little oversight. And also, one uh, problem you'll see a little later is when you run up and down the railings, you can't get off until you get to one of the ends. So, if you jump on something long, and, so, and they start shooting you from all directions, you're gonna have to run all the way up to the top under fire to get off the damn thing. I like how he lit that cigarette and immediately extinguished it. Of course. Only using it for the cool factor. Well, smoking is cool, you do know this. <laughs> Oh my god, it's the golden hair! I am so inconspicuous! Huh? It's the Must Riddler! The character. It's the Riddler! Oh no! It's all. Oh. Yeah, that's kinda bad. Tun tun tun. I'll just leave that knife there. <laughs> of course. Hey, there's guns in the alleyways. I think knives are just last for you. Also, style. And I really don't want to know how he cleaned that jacket afterwards. Watermelon kick. <laughs> yeah, here we get a, the first enemy with a different weapon than pistols. The shotgun. This weapon, on its own, is okay. Once you get your third tequila bomb ability, it becomes the best gun in the whole game, whenever you have it, and you'll see why in a few episodes. But for now, even though I picked it up, I'm still jumping around with pistols. And I'm still jumping around for no reason. Uh, uh, oh yeah, also, guy explodes into 10 million gallons of blood. Basically, uh, Tequila can punch people with whatever weapon he gets close with. And uh, apparently he has super strength, because uh, you'll see people fly about 10-20 feet, smash into things, break walls, or anything they land in. So it's, uh, it's rather interesting. I don't know if they did it on purpose, or if it's just an engine thing, but look, I just punched the guy into a wall like the freaking Hulk. Survive that propane tank. Of course. And here I finally decide to start using the shotgun. It's okay at close range, obviously. But it still has trouble getting two or more people at once. And uh, when you slow down time, you can see all the glorious bullet effects. Which actually at the time looked pretty good. I mean, I mean also ass shots. But yeah, at the time they looked pretty good. 2007. <laughs> that was alright. 
And uh, yeah, I, I kind of got punched from with the door. Yeah, late, uh, late shooting of the shiny things. And I kind of derp myself into a corner here. There you go. And finally, it tells you how to switch weapons, even though of course you can do it here before. Boom. Propane tank. Shotgun fires like what, four or five bullets, or? It fires a lot. Just watch when it goes into slow mode. It fires about 10 or 15 ish bullets in a fairly large spread. But yeah, as you saw that paper crane that was up there, I had to actually shoot the support for it to fall down. I couldn't get there in any other way. So these doors, the uh, broken ones, you can shoot them. Uh, and they usually, they, well, they always lead to a hidden area or a shortcut and here they lead to a cinema with I have honestly no idea where this is from I don't know if it's a game or if it's supposed to be an animation from some of the movies I can't recognize it and I probably should but I have no idea where it's from I have no idea where it is yeah the only thing down here is a paper crane though so get that and just Move right along. I just decided to shoot some stuff. And sliding. So yeah, going down railings is so much faster. More shotgun ammo. Always good. Ah, this is our next big mechanic. The standoffs. And I'll explain it in text in a minute. Essentially you get a chance to shoot each of these people individually as you spin around cinematically. As you can see the little uh, crosshair on the, on the right, you move that to where you want to shoot. And of course you can dodge bullets like your Neo. Also, that guy just exploded into blood. But yeah, you dodge bullets like Neo and you can shoot things in slow-mo. And of course they don't all shoot you at once, that would be silly. They shoot you in order. But you can only dodge left or right, you can't actually move during this. So, if you don't kill everyone uh, within the time limit, you only get one shot at each person. So if you don't kill them all, uh, you don't lose or anything, but they will just be alive when the event ends. And here, I have no idea what happened. I tried shooting him like four or five times and it ended up just body slamming him into the stairs. <laughs> But yeah, a very uh, visceral game. Also, anytime you see the uh, little white and uh, you know, yellow and black uh, striped planks on anything, that means you can destroy those. And usually in many levels, that's the only thing to that you have to do to continue. You have to either knock down uh, beams or break random walls or it, it'll all be something. But you usually have to break them to continue. Anything that's shiny usually means you can kill people easily. Anything that's uh, boarded up like that is essential to moving on. And of course, uh, you know, Hong Kong police, uh, fuck property damage. There's, you know, cinematic. All your kills have to be beautiful. Screw the, screw the paperwork. <laughs> and since there's no simple jump button, I have to vault over that thing. Here it uh, explains how you can enter tequila time manually instead of just lunging around. So they actually spell it like tequila, like the alcohol. Yes. Have you seen Hard Boiled? No. Alright. Well, the main character is called uh, Inspector Tequila because of the uh, drink he likes to drink. But yeah, here we have our second, uh, you know, tequila bomb ability. Precision aim. Basically you get to sniper shoot somebody with a pistol or whatever weapon you are. And since I'm five years old, nunchots. Nice. That'll never go at all. And here I try shooting the guy in the face. Uh, hits his neck. And of course, sign goes up, goes back, bonk. Just knocks him off. This guy, however, 
I try shooting him in the head. It shows his arm being hit, but his face is bleeding. So I think that was a bug. Because I shoot him a second time in the same place, and it just explodes into a gust. This was 2007. I don't think the technology was that sophisticated. But yeah, here I'm trying to get off the beam and I'm just kind of dancing. I had to get down to a uh, one of the bends so I could actually get off. And that's the big downside because later on, this is the way you're going to get a lot of your stylish kills to fill up your uh, tequila meter. And the problem is, they're... this is the first level. It's still fairly easy. You know, you got about 5-10 enemies. Later on, you're going to be about... 20 plus enemies. And, uh, yeah. These are the, uh, the golden guns. They're a special unlock, if you will. They're hidden in some levels, and they essentially kill anything they shoot with at with a uh, one bullet. However, you get only get 16 bullets with them. And if you go into a standoff with them, it automatically switches you back to your normal pistols, even if you don't actually have those weapons anymore. I owe an ask an I nine, but be quick. There won't be any left after tomorrow. And shooting. Every single gun needs to be hit. Of course. It's like some sort of law in Asia. Apparently. It has to be blinding when, when shot in sunlight. And as we know, air conditioners are extremely deadly. So yeah, here I'm trying to derp over the thing. I said you just run through the propane tank. But yeah, random goons. But as you see, the golden guns essentially take one bullet to kill anything they should except bosses. To them, they do normal pistol damage, which is Tequila. a bit of a kick in the teeth. Jerry's got info on a deal going down at the tea house. Golden Cane run that place. Which is why I want you to wait until I can send backup. Sorry, Captain. I just got a personal invitation. Tequila! Protocol? What protocol? Let's go shoot people. Oh, nut shots. Watching the reaction never gets old. Yeah. I have no idea what I hit over there. I didn't even see the propane tank, and stuff exploded extremely strongly. And yeah, here I ran out of uh, golden gun ammo. And uh, at one point, not in this low, but if you actually run out of ammo for everything, you get to punch people. But considering Tequila can punch people into walls with the strength of the Hulk, that's not... see? That's really not much of a problem. Wow. Yeah. Him in. Yeah, apparently I punched him so hard he shattered the column. And... Yeah, if you just shoot him in the chest, they just kind of spin around as if they're hit by a freaking grenade. But for 2007, the destruction is fairly good. A lot of things break, even if they are predetermined. I mean, it's it's not Battlefield that company, but stuff breaks, and it, it looks really nice. It's very cinematic. I mean, none of it really does anything for you except the shiny stuff that kills people, but it certainly looks nice. I'm just surprised you're not getting stuck in all these items flying around. Well, I, that's why you get to slide around, because otherwise that would be impossible with this much shit breaking and exploding. And yes, you see how everyone looks at him like he is some sort of unwelcome guest? Tequila? <laughs> the way I like it. You're yeah. the only one who does. However, here, the bartender knows his drink, which means he comes here often. Nice. So... How? Why? Also, am I evil enough? Is my ring evil enough? Is my golden freaking suit evil enough? We ran out of shooters. Why don't you go down and try? 
Young wants me at the Mega. The Imperial Nine deal is going down right now at the center table. Yes. The table of stereotypes. Keep tequila on that bar stool. You know, tequila came in here to get a drink. But no, Mr. Goldsuit, he has to cause trouble. The act of the magic disappearing fizz. Got the passports? Nice. Too light. You're short. Wong agreed to the amount. Now, do you have the passports or not? I don't give a damn what Wong agreed to. This is an I-9 deal. Be tense. We got heat at the bar. You brought a cop to our deal? What kind of logic is that? That makes no sense! Like, be careful, there's a cop over there! You brought a cop to our deal? Yes, I brought a cop to our deal, then told you about it. Of course. I mean, how else would I do it? These guys are like, the worst dealers ever. Yeah, it's like, the walking stereotypes. Also, punching is highly effective, as previously established. I broke the beard tap. Oh yeah, here's the other thing that uh, I wanted to note. Like, these doors, you've seen them before. They would just open and, and let enemies out, like, but not you in. Essentially, they're monster spawn rooms. The problem is... You can cheese it and just stand in front of it and just kill them all as they come out. In some of the later levels, there's just too many doors, but you can always just lock one down. And that's one of the things that kind of removes from the experience, because, I mean, you can kind of tell where they're going to be coming from. Better than them spawning in the middle of the room, I suppose, but still a little annoying. I just sit in the entrance of the doorway and just shoot as many as I can. It's good to know they had like 40 or 50 guys back there with guns. Oh yeah. So yeah, that uh, paper crane I was shooting at, I uh, kind of forgot how to get at it at this point. You have to uh, make the chandelier swing, then jump onto the chandelier and swing through it. But I was kind of too busy shooting people in the face of the shotgun. Only one of us is getting so, yeah. you alive, Kyle. Welcome to the first boss. Golden suit guy with a rocket launcher. Huh. I have no idea where that rocket went. But yeah, I, I eat so many rockets face on. I have no idea how I live. I even go and punch him in the face. Twice. It must be the leather jacket. Of course, it's like plus 10 to cool. But yeah, this boss is really easy. He has barely any health compared to later bosses. He's a terrible shot, and his rockets barely do anything. So yeah, I just hide here and pump his face full of bullets. Uh, generally known to be a bullet. I told you not to go in alone. I didn't. Brought my two friends. This is what our need wanted us to find. Bullet between the eyes. That's a signature hit. The iron eyes are the Dragon Claw's muscle. Wong's got the iron eyes hitting cops and dealing passports to Golden Cane. Except the deal went bad. Someone's trying to start a war. We better stop him. I'm heading down to Dio. I'm gonna shake some cages and see what falls out. Like hell you will. Tayo's not your turf and you know it. That's an ongoing narcotics probe. We have it under control. Drug gangs, turf wars, and a dead cop. And you call that under control? Watch your step, Tequila. You go out of bounds, you'll lose your badge. No, not my badge. So yeah, we uh only killed 161 dudes. But we did 12 million damage. Oh, glad they keep track of that for you. Of course.